welcome back to my channel it is week two of the semester it's friday today but i have sammy tonight guys tonight sammy stands for saturday morning inspection but i have my sammy on a friday because i have to be inspected early my roommate cammy and i are platoon leaders which means this semester we're going to be inspecting rooms for the first time also my roommate becca she's a core squad athlete and she's not going to be here tomorrow so we all have to be inspected early we're getting inspected tonight by our cadet company commander and he's He's pretty chill it's not gonna be anything too crazy as long as we put in effort it's gonna be fine tonight i'll be taking you guys through my sammy cleaning process starting with the checklist this is the checklist and this point is so silly why at the top of the page it says operations order 22-1 operation swiffer sweeper 2 <laughs> Sammy inspection at the top of the page. We're gonna go down the checklist line by line and I'm gonna show you how I clean for Sammy. These are my two roommates, by the way. This is Cammy and Becca. You've met them before on the channel. Starting right here with this bullet, we have to have our name tapes, which are these right here, displayed on our desks, our beds, and our dresser drawers. We only have one dresser drawer because we took the other two out so we could put all our beds on the ground because nobody wanted to be in a bunk bed. We also have to have our name tapes displayed on the rifle rack, which is this right here. As firsties, we don't have our rifles anymore we have these swords we got our swords or savers last semester and it was such a nice milestone moment i don't know which one to get Ooh, these are heavy. it looks like kemi has chosen hers maybe not okay she's chosen hers i don't know which one to get yes pick a saver <laughs> It's not that I don't deep. know why is so mad. This is a really important moment in my life. You're not picking your firstborn child. You're picking a child, Kimmy. <laughs> I think this is the one that's called out to me. Can you grab it? You can cut it. <laughs> All of the little West Point moments are so big to me. I remember when I was younger, seeing my mom's saber in the house and just thinking, one day I'm going to have a saber just like her. And I have one. Life is so crazy. We also have to have name tapes outside our rooms right here like this. And in the bathroom. We're going to go to the bathroom. That's not checked for Sammy, but I just want to show you guys. The font of these name tapes has to be Arial font, size 24, and in all caps. The next thing is work orders. This is our work order sheet right here. We already put in a handful of work orders because like I said in the last video, this room is busted. I am though gonna tape down these sheets back here because it looks a little raggedy. <laughs> Just all of them up here jumbled. While I'm taping down these sheets, I wanted to update you guys on my negative COR situation from the summer. If you watch my summer training vlog, then you'll know I got a negative COR during CLDT for allegedly just up and leaving training without letting my company know. But that's just not what happened. And earlier this week, my TAC officer calls me to her office. This is the first week of school, by the way, okay? It's Friday, the first week of actual school. Last week was reorgy week. This week is the first week of school. My TAC officer asked me to come see her and I walk into her office and who's there other than my CLDT tag? I felt so ambushed. I got my academic year tag sitting at her desk right in front of me. My CLDT tag is sitting in a chair in front of her desk to the right. And then there's another chair next to my CLDT tag officer. And I'm thinking, is this some sort of intervention? What is going on here? Basically, my academic year tag wanted both of us to tell our sides of the story. The conversation didn't go well because we just did not have the same story of what happened. I apologized anyways for my misunderstanding and somehow the topic changed to my blonde hair i'm honestly just gonna take it i'm tired of hearing people talk about it my tack didn't end up giving me a board for the cor so that's good news the next thing on the checklist is note cards for deficient items this is the note card we have up right now for the hole in the wall i'm genuinely curious what was going on in this room before we got here we also have one up for this bar that looked like it was just ripped off the wall i tried to play bob the builder and put the bar up myself but yeah no we had to put a work order in for it we made a deficiency card for it the deficiency note cards are really important i'm writing a couple more now even if you put up the deficiency cards you can still get gigged if whatever the deficiency is was preventable i always for the past three years have put up a deficiency card for my robe because it doesn't have a tie on it it's a special vintage 1998 west point robe <laughs> i lost my original robe after basic training so my mom gave me hers the next three bullets are red because those are major 
major gigs. And up at the top, you can see that the major gig allowance for this semester is zero. So if your door is not open during SAMI, you fail. If you or any of your roommates fail uniform inspection, then you all fail. If the highest ranking cadet in the room doesn't do their report correctly, then you all fail. The highest ranking cadet in our room is Becca because she's captain of the rugby team. Now that we've swept all the floors, all of the surfaces in the room have to be dusted. The dust gig is the most common gig. It's like a badge of honor if you can get through Sammy without having a dust gig. The inspector, which is gonna be me later on. Later on in the video, you're gonna see me inspecting rooms. As the inspector, you're supposed to wear white gloves and you just go around with your fingers and all of the little tiny crevices until you find some dust. So as the individual being inspected, you wanna make sure you dust everything. And I mean everything even the hard to reach spots or the weird spots like you just want to dust everything because I've had six Sammies before I know exactly where they're gonna go that's why it's important that the underclassmen get inspected by their team leaders and their squad leaders before the PSG and PLs and company commanders and first sergeants go around and inspect them because we know that one of the first places an inspector is gonna go to search for a dust gig is up in the vents and as a freshman it just might surprise you how <laughs> intent this part of the inspection gets We're not allowed to have cooking appliances of any kind in the room, so I gotta take out my waffle maker. I'm gonna take this to my trunk room locker. We are lucky enough to have a couch in our room, so I'm just gonna give that a quick lint roll. One thing I haven't mentioned is that the AC is broken, and it's been broken since we got back here from the summer. It's broken in the entire building. One thing I've learned from my time here at West Point is to never take air conditioning for granted. It has been quite miserable living here in this small room with two other girls and no AC. Next on the checklist is shoes. You have to make sure your shoes are flush with the edge of the wardrobe and they're as worn. As worn looks like this. It's as if the shoes are as you would wear them on your feet. I'm going through and just making sure everybody's shoes and heels are flushed and they're in the correct order. There's an SOP that has pictures of how everything in the room is supposed to look. The correct order of the shoes, the heels, the shower shoes back here. It's all in the SOP. SOP stands for standard of procedures and those can change every year. It's actually a requirement on the checklist to have the SOP open on your computer <laughs> during SAMI. You also have to have everyone's shoes shine, so I'm going through and doing that now. Next is the coat closet. I'm just making sure everything's in the right order and everything's as worn. The proper order is this long O raincoat, then the long O, then your parka, then your black jacket, Gore-Tex fleece, PT uniform, then your robe. Everything facing the door, all of the hangers the right way. Our gym shoes are down here under the coats and those have to be flushed as well. Next on the checklist is the bed area. I have a lot more bedding than the average cadet. I like to keep my bed soft, okay? I have these two foam toppers and I duct tape my sheets to them. I've never known another cadet to do this, but I'm telling you, it is a lifesaver. The beds are so hard at West Point. Memory foam is a must. This pillow didn't really fit neatly under my bed, so I'm just gonna put it outside in this laundry cart, which I'm gonna take down and put in my trunk room locker after I finish cleaning everything. Now that all my pillows and blankets are neatly under my bed i'm going to make the pillow there's a certain technique that you have to have to make the pillow some people are better at it than others i know one guy who will charge a fee to make your pillow but it'll be so so sharp and it'll last the entire semester there are also people you can pay to make your bed it is a very lucrative side hustle like some cadets will charge only 20 dollars to make your bed anything proof and that is a really great deal anything proof means you can roll around toss on it jump on it do anything on your bed and and there still won't be any wrinkles i usually make my own bed and make my own pillows but if i see one of my friends out there hustling going from barracks to barracks making bed after bed of course i'm gonna support their business and pay them to make my bed i love a hustling cadet because i am a hustling cadet when we get further into the school year and i get more settled i'm gonna start taking clients again i am a barracks hairstylist and i have my very own salon in the basement of the barracks i'm gonna be taking 
taking you guys with me to my client's hair appointment. I honestly am so excited to start doing hair again. And the fact that y'all are going to be there with me, it's going to be so fun. It's a bit hard for me to explain how you make the pillow, but I just showed you how to make the pillow. I was taught once when I was a freshman, when I was a plebe, and I usually make my pillow once every couple months and then just leave it. I don't sleep on this pillow. I sleep on the pillows I have under my bed and the one I put out in the laundry cart and i don't sleep on my bed either i sleep on my little mattress toppers that are under my bed that way my bed doesn't get messed up and you don't have to break the sheets every night like nobody actually sleeps under the covers at west Point. cadets will literally sleep on the floor <laughs> before they sleep on their bed and mess it up before inspection my bed looks pretty good what do you guys think it looks good i just need to iron out the top of the sheets because you just can't have any wrinkles in your bed. I'm going to iron out the top real quick and then we're going to get into the next step on the checklist. Ironing your bed for Sammy is very, very normal. There are definitely people who take it to the extreme when it comes to cleaning for Sammy, but I'm more of a high medium type girl. You know, I failed Sammy before actually. Believe it or not, I have failed Sammy when I was a freshman. My second semester plebe year, me and my roommate failed. And you know, you never really live a Sammy failure down. It's like a reoccurring joke amongst you and your classmates forever <laughs> the books in the bookshelf all have to be in high order I'm measuring them with my fingers right now this one's a little taller than my bible so i'm gonna switch them around i'm actually gonna end up taking all of these books off the shelf and just using the empty technique the empty technique is <laughs> something i created when it comes to the bookshelf and my desk drawers i just prefer everything be empty right now i'm taking everything out of my dresser drawers and i'm gonna end up taking my books and lying them flat on the bottom of these dresser drawers to cover up the bottom i'm taking all of this stuff out of this lap drawer and i'm gonna do the same thing i'm gonna use my family magazines this is our first family magazine cover that's me there on the left and then my older sister june next to me then my mom and then Jalen on the right i always cover up the bottom of my dresser drawers just because this material is very hard to clean off the paper towel always leaves these white specks on it so i just like to have the bottom covered that black and white paper y'all just saw is the flyer to the perm party i'm going to the perm party the day after sammy which is tomorrow so on sunday it's currently 6 5 p.m we've been cleaning for a couple hours now we started right after our classes this has been our first week of class and nothing much has been going on past that we did have club night earlier this week Jalen, my twin sister Jalen, is captain of the debate team so i went by her table during club night when i tell you that you will be prepared on your first date you will be prepared and so we're starting off this uh this uh season pretty strong so that's good we have that again Jalen and I tried out for the debate team our plebe year and I didn't make it and she did. We tried out for the debate team together and we also tried out for the dance team together which is the club I'm actually a part of. Jalen ended up not making the dance team and so we just had to go our separate ways. I'm so proud of her though for becoming the captain. Her club table booth is literally right across from mine right over there. <laughs> you can see her staring at me in her little dancey dance. <laughs> All of that happened earlier this week on Tuesday. Besides starting my classes this week, nothing too crazy has really been going on. It's honestly been a chill week. I do have just a bit of drama going on in my social life. I started talking to my ex-boyfriend again just a couple weeks ago, and that's been going fine, honestly. It's just my other ex is upset about it, and I know I shouldn't care, but I do, I, I just don't like making people feel sad or hurting people. I honestly still like both of my exes a lot, even though I was the one to end things with both of them. We've gotten so far off topic. Let me get back to telling y'all about Sammy. We have about 30 minutes left before our inspection. We're almost done though. We're on the last page. The top bullet says storage space is open. Medicine cabinets open 90 degrees. These are the medicine cabinets. Everything in the medicine cabinet has to be in height order from left to right, which it is kind of. The three of us share all the- gracious. The three of us share all of the space in the medicine. Oh my goodness. The three of us share the medicine cabinet space equally. We each have two shelves. These are Cammy's two shelves right here. I'm just switching these two bottles to make sure they're in high order. A gig for one person stuff is a gig for everyone. No one can feel semi by themselves. The whole room fails. I think that's a good thing because it facilitates teamwork, but it has caused some roommates to hate each other in the past. One of my guy classmates was telling me about how a couple semesters ago, the night before Sammy, he and his roommates got in a huge argument 
argument about how they're cleaning for Sammy. And the fight ended in one of the roommates calling the other roommate the N-word. And they still had to be roommates after. West Point can really be a nightmare sometimes, especially as a double minority. I really don't know how to share all the awful moments with you guys in these vlogs, but I will make time in the future to sit down and talk to y'all about all the stuff that goes on here in the shadows. The next bullet point says mirror clean with no streaks or smudges. You guys watch me just clean the mirror. The third bullet says all metal surfaces shine. I just shine the inside of the medicine cabinet that's metal in there. All items in medicine cabinet high order. I just did that. We do have a coffee pot displayed and that's Becca's. She cleaned that earlier. Faucet and sink clean and dry, free of smudges. No dirt or grime in crevices. Stop or shut. My roommate Cammie is drying the sink right now. She's gonna make sure everything in regards to the sink is good to go. Next is making sure our laundry is in the green bag. The green bags are tied. The bags have to be less than halfway full and the opening has to be facing up. If you're in Scott Bear, I guess they don't have a laundry drawer like this so they just have to tie their laundry bags to the bed post. Our other laundry drawer is empty so that's good. If the trash cans and recycling bins aren't empty, clean, and displayed on the sink counter then everyone automatically fails. The only Sammy argument I've ever had besides between me and my old roommate when we failed Sammy was between me and Cammy a couple semesters ago when we were roommates about who's cleaning the trash can. <laughs> Moving on to the bureau section. As far as we only have to have one inspectable SOP drawer, which is this one right here, but the underclassmen, they progressively get less and less personal drawer space as they're lower and lower in class so the plebs only have one personal dresser drawer which is really sad as an underclassman i remember having to store most of my personal items in the trunk room the last red major gig is not having one backpack per person with the logo subdued sitting in the windowsill i really want to know who came up with that because it's so specific all of our backpacks are black and in the windowsill so that's good and that's it guys we're done cleaning for sammy we're just gonna do our last minute sweeping and last minute checks over everything and our co is is gonna come and check us off. This is my cadet company commander checking us off for Sammy. We passed, which is good. We ended up getting two gigs, one for dust. I'm going to spend the next couple of hours taking out my hair, going to say goodbye to the blonde. Then I'm going to go around to my platoon's rooms and just check in on them, make sure they're doing good for tomorrow. I really don't want to fail anyone in my platoon. Good morning, it's Sammy today. Last night, I took out my hair, and actually before I took out my hair, I went around to my platoon's room, so I wasn't going around <laughs> their rooms looking like this. I went around and just checked to see how they were doing with cleaning. I wasn't doing any deep checking. I'm leaving that up to the team leaders and the squad leaders. As the platoon leader, I just wanted to go around and just say hi to everyone and just check in on everyone. I'm doing my makeup right now, and then I'm gonna do my hair. I washed it after I took it out and let it air dry, which was just such a silly decision to make. It's clean, but it's it's really dry right now. Speaking of hair, tomorrow we're going to go to the perm party. The history of the perm party began back in 1980 when the first group of women were allowed into the academy. All of the female cadets were required to cut their hair short. It couldn't be shaved. They couldn't be bald. But their hair also couldn't be so long that it went past their collars. Buns weren't allowed at this time and there are also rules against having braids. So for the two black women in the class of 1980, that meant their hair looked like this. But the hair regulations were a nightmare because it makes kinky and coily hair textures that much more difficult to manage at West Point. Look at this, look at my hair right now. This by itself is difficult to manage. I couldn't imagine if they made me cut it, but then I couldn't put it in a bun, but then I also couldn't have it shaved, but then I also couldn't have braids. I don't know how I would have made it. My mom was at West Point in 1994, and she told me right after her basic training, right after Beast, her hair and the other 11 black girls' hair in the class, she said their hair looked awful. She said they didn't have black hair care products at the time like we do today at the PX and at the C store at West Point, so they really struggle to manage their hair and as a woman you know how it feels when your hair's not done for many of us when our hair's not done we don't feel good okay so her and her black girlfriends they pulled together a couple of dollars and gave money to a friend outside the academy who brought them perm boxes and relaxers and other black hair products and they went to the bathroom all together and they permed their hair they straightened their hair so they could get it in regulation easier braids were finally allowed in 1998 and my mom said the first place she went was the beauty 
supply Tia some crochet twists <laughs> and she did her hair. Sometime in 2000s is when the black woman made the perm party an actual event. And now it's a biannual thing. Every semester there's a perm party and it's a very beautiful, beautiful event because our hair and the managing of our hair in the military is something that really bonds us together. It's so unique. And at the perm party, the upperclassmen, we wash and we braid the underclassmen's hair. And I love it. I can't wait to meet the plebes this year. It's crazy because as an underclassman, I remember looking up to the black girls so much. Representation really mattered for me. And watching them graduate was just so inspiring to me. And now that I'm a senior, I just hope that I can provide that to these girls as well. Party. 
my school is really pretty but you just never notice it while you're here i noticed it before i came here and i'll notice it after but during no i don't notice it at all i'm just kidding yes i do see look i just don't put 360 that is so pretty I was on the AID and I worked with the people who actually created this building. <laughs> with the people who actually created this building. The perm party is held in Lee Barracks. That's where the barber shop and the cadet hair salon is. So, okay, I'll talk a little later. I am at the perm party now. After we all introduce ourselves, we start washing and twisting and braiding each other's hair. <laughs> I just finished this plebe's hair and her friend's hair, and it looks so good. <laughs> this is the finished result of the two girls hair that i did i had to leave after i finished their hair but not before taking a picture with my friend nori my best friend from high school she is at the prep school now and came to the perm party of course and it was so nice seeing her i ended the night with Jalen. we went up to the px ate some food and <laughs> she's endorsing as i am for some reason in this video as i am come get it that's the end of this week's video thank you guys so much for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe next week is crazy we got ring weekend okay my whole family is gonna be there and we're all gonna be icy. i can't wait for it it's so exciting Turn on the notification so you don't miss it and i'll see you in the next vlog